Stupidington last updated 1926, August 26, 2017 Christchurch Boys High School wing Jack Harris is shadowed by Timaru Boys High School Captain Cullen Grace. Christchurch Boys High School first 15 have uncovered a star after first five Rico Syme delivered them another crusade as school's championship crown. The defending champions beat a gallant Timaru Boys High School side 18-10 on Saturday in an entertaining encounter in front of 1,000 fans at Christchurch Boys. CBHS were the more enterprising side, willing to give the ball plenty of air, and it paid off in the two tries to one victory. Christchurch Boys High School celebrate their 10th crusade as school's championship crown win with fans. Syme was a key component in the win, with a classy all-round display that included two chip kicks that ultimately delivered the tries. It has been a fantastic finish for the young 5'8th who started his season in the second 15. CBHS coach Danny Port said it was an outstanding performance from his team. Christchurch Boys High School locks Amal Sopt in Hove is chased by Timaru Boys High School captain Cullen Grace. It was huge, I am very proud of them. Timaru Boys also played very well, it was a ding-dong affair. Port said Syme had a mighty game while Locke Campbell Reed also stood out against a tough TBHS pack. Christchurch Boys High School Locke Campbell Reed takes the ball uncontested in the UC Championship final. Timorous midfield defense was superb but I also thought our boys stood up there as well. It was the 10th time in 17 years CBHS have won the championship. Since its inception in 2001, TBHS coach Gavin Miller was proud of his boys' efforts. To get this far is no shame, losing to Christchurch boys on the home ground. If you told me at the start of the season this was where it would finish I would have taken it with both hands. Miller said throughout the game TBHS had their opportunities but couldn't quite finish. I thought Christchurch made the most of theirs and it was only two tries to one. TBHS started the better side but a couple of fumbles and forwards getting isolated allowed CBHS to hold on. Midway through the first half CBHS's Tahu Kargood Willie scored after a chip from Syme bounced awkwardly for fullback Hayden McNulty and the second five was on hand to collect the bonus, with Syme converting. TBHS then closed the gap to 73 with a McNulty penalty. With five minutes left to the break Syme put in another clever kick and it again bounced away from the defender and wing Jack Harris snapped it up to make half-time 123. Syme then extended the lead early with a penalty that bounced in off the upright but then missed another opportunity to extend the lead. TBHS then burst back into the game when open side Melvin Pawnee drove over from a line-out and McNulty added the conversion to close the gap to 15-10. A minute earlier CBHS replacement prop Murphy Coupe had been yellow-carded when deliberately interfered with the ball as a quick tap was being taken. With 10 minutes left, the left-footed Syme gave his side some breathing space when he landed a penalty to get the advantage out to 8 points. TBHS then gave the ball some air and attacked out wide but the CBHS defense was up to it. For CBHS Syme was the undoubted star and while not all his options worked it never phased him, and when things did come off they were spectacular. Fullback Ryan Barnes also looked dangerous ball in hand while halfback Louis Chapman had a great battle with his opposite Caleb McNo, and both made good meters from darts around the fringes. In the forwards open side Sam Caldwell tackled well and was excellent over the ball, winning several turnovers. Locke Reed ensured plenty of line-out ball and was good around the paddock, while captain and hooker Adam Reed also impressed. For TBHS midfield pairing of Brad Svetanik and Monty Nixon were huge on defence, against a side that kept running at them. In the forwards prop Thomas Edwards had a big game, while captain Cullen Grace was heavily involved. Pawnee and Locke Macamafaleo also took some stopping ball in hand. In the end TBHS turned the ball over too often from loose carries and getting isolated, while CBHS were brilliant at the breakdown. CBHS now face Southland Boys High School in Invercargill on Saturday for a spot in the New Zealand school's top four competition. Southland made a big second-half comeback and slotted a penalty on full-time to win a thriller 2,927 against Otago Boys High School in the Highlanders' championship final. Stuff.